Alright, so what I got going on here is I got a 75 uh, watt bulb over here. It's equal to 100 watts, but it's taking out 75 watts, is what it says on it. And that's coming off the lead acid battery, which is on the left there. And then I got my Allen battery over here, and I got a couple of. Uh, couple of bulbs set up there there's two of them and these two bulbs are drawn about three amps uh, about 3.4 amps is what the was what I was reading earlier and currently this one is down to uh, 10.4 and this one's at 12.23 now I just started this one this one has been draining for a few hours with just those two bulbs on it um, but I bought this little uh, inverter to help me uh, speed up the process but uh, it's it's too low for that. Uh, this inverter doesn't like drawing power off there. Even though there's lots of power left in it, it doesn't like it going below 11. So, <clears throat> so we're gonna drain this one with the 75 watts, and then once once it gets down low enough where it won't power the light bulb anymore, then I'm gonna take uh, uh, those two bulbs and put them over here and drain this one all the way down. So now the point of whole, all of this is to see how many times I can drain these batteries to zero before they'll die and won't be any good anymore now I already know that the Allen battery is probably gonna uh, have no trouble doing this um, but the acid battery it's probably gonna die after maybe I'd say 25 times is what I've read so um, we'll see alright I'll just keep track and then uh, see what happens alright so currently this uh, this battery here has uh, dropped down to 11.23 with the uh, light bulb in it. I took that off because it wouldn't stay on. It just kept going on, shutting off, going on, shutting off. So I'm going to switch it to these two light bulbs over here. This one is the Allen battery, and it has dropped down to 0.6 of a volt with the load on it. So when we take that off, well, we're just going to see what that looks like when we take that off. Um, okay, so we're down to, you know... A couple of volts here less than three volts we're just going to uh, swap the uh, bulbs over here and finish dropping this one down to zero and this is the first discharge and we're gonna see how many times we can do this and right, I got this cleaned up a little bit so it's a little easier to understand this is the voltage on the acid battery which I've called battery D um, and this battery over here is the Allen battery which is battery C um, now it started it just barely the charger just clicked on it's on auto and uh, so now it's charging um, I actually didn't expect it to turn on just quite yet but that's alright um, so anyway it always reads 60% doesn't matter um, it always starts out saying that but uh, anyway so uh, it's uh, starting the charge here as you can see the voltage is dropping uh, I'm not sure what the amps are going into it right at the moment but back over to this battery over here so this is still the first charge and discharge so this is the first discharge um, and so with the first discharge I'm going to drain this one even further and I'm gonna use these two light bulbs here and ooh, that's pretty bright but uh, it's dropping pretty fast because we already drained it it was a 100 watt equivalent bulb and I was taking 72 watts maybe we'll see what the bulb the package on the, the light bulb says oh yeah okay 70, 72 watts so with this little 100, 120 watt ever start uh, power inverter so um, we drained it with that and uh, we're gonna drain it with these two bulbs and these are are pulling off of here about three and a half close to four uh, amps and so we're gonna let that acid battery drain down to basically nothing like this one was 0.6 when we stopped so um, uh, we're gonna try and get it to something around there and then we'll recharge it so this one is an acid battery this one was an acid converted to an Allen battery oh, one more thing on this battery before I started discharging it with the power inverter um, it was standing at 12.7 and hadn't been charged in a few months so just for reference this one was sitting at 11.7 as an Allen battery that's pretty uh, standard um, voltage um, for a I'd say 90 percent charged battery it'll sit a little bit higher and once it's topped off but um, and it'll sit there for a while but it'll eventually come and settle back down to 12.7 and I'd say it's still pretty well fully charged 
Um, Alright, so our acid battery over here is uh, definitely uh, discharged. It's actually discharged further than the other one was. Um, the other one was down to point six. This one's down to one point or point one five. So I've let it go a bit longer than the other one. Um, this one's almost charged, and uh, as you can see, it, uh, it's saying 100% on the charger over there. Um, so just to just to give you an idea here, we're gonna take that off. It was maintaining. It's gonna settle back down. And, uh, Yeah, so we'll take the load off of this one. It'll go back up and uh, put the charger on this one. We'll charge it until it's fully charged. And this one over here, it's an Allen battery. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on there. Now the acid will probably it's coming up a lot faster than the Allen battery because it's got acid so. Uh, a lot higher acid. There's still some acid in that one, but just very small amount. Um, not sure what the pH is, but uh, I've dumped most of it out. So this one will probably go up quite a bit faster than this one would have. As you can see, this one's settling down. And we're going to charge this one at 10 amps. So automatically, right off the bat, they like to jump up to pretty high voltage. And uh, should be 10 amps. Uh, we're dumping 10 amps into it. All right, so I'm on the fourth full discharge for both batteries. They're fully charged, and I'm about to start. Um, from now on, though, I'm just going to use this uh, sheet of paper here to count and just do short clips. That way, you can see which discharge I'm on, and it makes it easier for me to, to uh, keep track of as well. So from this point on, I decided it would be better for me to just charge and discharge them together, seeing as the point of this video is to see which one will outlast the other one, and I'm putting them through a lot of abuse just by completely discharging them in the first place. All right, so what I've got going on here is I got those same two batteries, the Allen battery here, and I'm just going to show you that I'm hooked up to the Allen battery. And I've got the uh, acid battery on the right. And I'm going to do a load test for both of these batteries. As you can see, the Allen battery right now is charged up to 11.93, which is pretty good because I already did a load test on it earlier. And I haven't charged it since then, but it was sitting for about five days. And so it was 11.96, I think, before I did the load test. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you the voltage on both of these. I'm going to do the load test for it. Um, so let's get started. So you're supposed to put half the cold cranking amps <coughs> um, capability of the battery um, for this test so let's get this sucker uh, hooked up here and as you can see uh, we've got uh, 12 volts roughly according to that meter and this meter is reading a bit lower but that's okay so what we're going to do is see if I can do this with one hand and record at the same time. I'm going to put it up to 120 DC amps. There we go. A little more. It's got quite the turn before it really. There's 120 right there. If you look at the load test here, it's holding steady. And uh, there's the beeper for the timer. So it's it's reading it's a good battery and it's doing the load test just fine. Ooh, and and even the amps went up there for just a second. Um, but it started out at 120. So that's pretty good for an Allen battery. That's great. I mean, you know, the first test that I did, it wasn't fully charged and uh, <clears throat> so it was holding pretty good. Now it's going back up. So uh, we're gonna switch this over here to this uh, to this other battery here. I mean the other terminal on here and we're just going to show it right there so it's reading uh, about 13 volts and so this is reading lower just under 13 volts for that so we're going to turn this uh, tester back up here and uh, go a little faster on this one 
Now, sorry about the shakiness for the camera here. I've got got one hand to hold the camera and one to do the load test. So, so both of these batteries are showing pretty good and they're holding pretty steady. All right. So, what we got going on here is we're at our 14th full discharge and um, we're going to test the lead acid battery first with a load test here it's in the back and uh, right now we're sitting at 12.89 volts and uh, it's been fully charged again so we're going to uh, give ourselves a little testy here you know, if you can see here there we go got uh, 13 volts according to this and uh, my meter says I'm at 12.8 so, now let's turn this up to uh, 120, because that's half of the low, or the cold cranking amps. And uh, turn this up, it takes a while. There we go. Right there. Well, ooh, look at that. It's dropped quite a bit. We we're supposed to hold this for 15 seconds, but so anyway, that's not too bad. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. So we are connected, we're sitting above 12, which is, I'd say, pretty dang good for an Allen battery. Now, let's see what our uh, our load test does here. Shouldn't have to go as far. All right there. Oh, it's still holding in the green. Not too bad. And, uh, so yeah, both batteries are still doing good. And uh, that's the 14th full discharge. All right, so before I show you this next test, and let me just say that they're on their 19th full discharge, and I charged them up fully charged before I left, and I came back after two weeks, and... Um, the lead acid battery failed the load test and the Allen battery passed. Now, I didn't get it on camera, unfortunately, but um, I'm going to show you the test that I did after fully charging them again right after that and then doing the load test. Now, they both passed the load test after fully charging them, and the acid battery will pass the test um, currently because it's still holding a charge, but it has a slow discharge on it. Um, it's actually a pretty fast discharge for what it should be um, in two weeks there's no way it should be losing 90% uh, of its charge uh, so at this point I know that I have somewhat of a decent short at the bottom of the plates shorting out the plates with lead sulfate and it's not a complete short it's kind of a, a partial short if you will so it drains really fast and um, it'll still pass a test if you uh, have it fully charged but if you give it some time it'll just die so um, but yeah the, the lead alum battery um, voltage was great when I came back and didn't have any problems and it passed the test all right all right all right all right so here we are sorry for the shaky camera here right about where we want it so it's still holding so as you can see it's passing the test right now but the problem is is that it has a slow drain on it now and it'll pass the test shortly after being um, charged but because it has sulfates built up at the bottom of the plates right now they're kind of shorting it out but it's a slow short it's not a dead short and so Currently, the battery will pass the test shortly after being charged and maybe for a couple days, but it will slowly die and then it will have no power left in it. Where the Allen battery, um, it passed the test when I got back. Um, so it was, a, it was a week and a half of sitting there. It was sitting at 11.91, which, um, which isn't much lower than the acid battery was. 
Um, but it passed the test. So now we've got, uh, ooh, got to change that over to this guy here so you can see what's going on. And uh, let me just get back to you. So let's just do that here. We got our Allen's 11.9. So that's reading about the same. And uh, we'll just turn it up here until, until we get to that. Ooh, spiked it. So it's it's holding steady in the green at 10.2 volts. Or 10.1, 10, 10 volts. And uh, it's still holding pretty good. And as you'll see, the voltage will just shoot back up. Um, but yeah, there you have it.